I'll just tear the bolts and chains open with my bare hands, shall I? I don't think there's any money inside, so there's no point. Hello. Hello. So, you're a jester, are you? Uh, would you like to hear a joke? I don't know. Is it any good? That's why I'm telling it to you. I'm working on some new ones because my old ones weren't funny. OK, fire away. Right. Uh, what do you call a man with a seagull on his head? Pigeon head? Cliff. Get it? Cliff, see? <laughs> because seagulls sit on... I get it. Ha ha ha. I've got another one. What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? Shovel head? Doug. <laughs> Doug? Yeah, because he's got a shovel on his head. Shovel! Doug! Doug! See? I think I may have spotted the problem with your jokes. Hang on, I know this great story about butter! Sounds more interesting. Go on. I can't. You might spread it around! I can't believe I walked into that one. So, what do you think? You've got big problems, mate. These jokes wouldn't amuse a little and large audience. Oh, looks like I'm finished then. That's life, I'm afraid. You win some and you lose some. Why don't you have a look through this? <laughs> These are really good. You must let me give you something in return. I'm sure there's nothing of yours that I want. But take my bladder anyway. I won't be needing it anymore. Thanks. Uh, I think that's the last time I do him a favour. <laughs> Mommy! No way am I going near that thing! I swear I'll never flush another one of them things down the plug hole again. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm interested in a loan. In that case, sir, you've come to the right place. What sort of loan are you particularly interested in? What sorts are there? Well, there's your basic traditional or pound of flesh loan. Further up the scale, you've got the relative collateral loan. Then there's the medical experiments loan. 
the first time buy a slavery option loan. We can usually tailor one to suit our specific needs. What's the pound of flesh loan? That's our most basic loan. We'll lend you 2,000 pieces of gold, and if you don't pay it back, we can take a pound of flesh, including blood and internal organs, from your body. Is there anything else I can do for you? Tell me about the relative collateral loan. Basically, it means that if you don't pay us back, then we send some lads round to butcher all your relatives. Is there anything else I can do for you? Fill me in on the medical experiments loan. Should you fail to repay the money you owe us, we are entitled to use your body in gruesome cosmetic testing experiments. Is there anything else I can do for you? What's the score read the slavery option thing? The slavery option simply means that we are entitled to sell you into slavery should you fail to repay the loan. Is there anything else I can do for you? I'll try the medical experiments loan. No problem, sir. You'll have to have an interview with the boss to sort out your application. You can go through whenever you're ready. Ah, Mr. Uh, Sorcerer. Mr. Sorcerer. Just bear with me a second. I'm just dealing with a bad death case. Now, Mr. Sorcerer, what can I do for you? I'm interested in the medical experiments loan. Hang on a second. I'll just find the application form. I can't seem to find a form at the moment. Would you mind coming back later? No problem. Meanwhile, up on the roof... Here's another one. What's the address? The Three Bears, 69, Cul-de-Sac Boulevard. 69? <laughs> you know where it is? Yeah! Fire! Go shut! <laughs> Thanks. Looks like I've done them a favour. They've left the tap on. It's that girl from down the docks. Whoops! I hope it still works. I'll catch that young hooligan this time. Wait, Pa. It could be dangerous. Stand aside, Ma. I'm trained to handle this. Ooh, heck. Rumbled. I'd better hide. Phew. Here I come! It's all clear, Ma. You checked everywhere, Pa? No sign of anyone, Ma. Come in. Come on, Junior. Who's been blowing up my door? And who's been drying out my sponge collection? 
And who's been breaking my computer? I'll bet I know who it was. Who, Pa? Her. Not again, Pa. I'm afraid so, Ma. Oh, Pa, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Ma. Why don't you start cooking the porridge while I think about it? Okay, Pa. I'll just light the fire, Pa. Fire? Ah! What do you suppose that was, Pa? Sounded like rats again, Ma. I needed a bath anyway. Did you hear about what happened to that Trace? Oh, yes. It must be terrible for you. I do say the same thing happened to your Darren once. Oh, yes. It was terrible for us. Simply terrible. And you know what she's like? Oh, I know. Old Sharon used to be just the same. Did you hear about what happened to their Trace? Oh, yes, it must be terrible for them. The same thing happened to old Darren once. Really? Oh, it must be terrible for you. And you know what old Darren's like? Oh, I know. Our Nigel used to be just the same. I'm sorry to hear about your trade. It's terrible for us! And they do say that once it's happened, there's no going back! And they do say that once it's happened, there's no going back! Old Darren was never... Morning, ladies. Who are you? I'm the handsome one in the middle of the box for this game. He reminds me of our Trace, with his hair like that and all. I expect he's foreign, what with him wearing his hair like that. Our Trace isn't foreign. She wears her hair like that all the time. Anyway, as I was saying... What in tarnation are you doing in my house? Well, uh, I couldn't help noticing that there appears to be a big hole in your wall. I just thought I'd drop in and mention it. What are you doing snooping around my house? I... Don't give me any of that garbage. But I... You're in league with her, aren't you? You've come here to check out our security. Actually, I... Well, what have you got to say for yourself? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't arrest you right now. Pa, why don't you give the boy a chance? Quiet, Ma. Let me handle this. Well? Is something bothering you? I just want to know one thing. What? Are you in league with the Goldilocks? Who? Her! I think I've got her wig. Let me see it. This is it. This is the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Now we can leave the house without having to worry about her eating the porridge. Or sleeping in the bed. Or beating my high score at Tetris. How can I ever repay you, son? I'm sure I'll think of something. He looks like he needs feeding up, Pa. Sure thing, Ma. Give him a bowl of your special porridge. Okay, Pa. Come with me. There you are. Have a nice day, son. I feel like Simon the Supergrass. <laughs> <laughs>